Chakula, chakula. Hey, chakula, chakula, chakula. Hey, chakula. Ugali ni chakula. Hey, chakula. Nandizi ni chakula. Hey, chakula. Hello, hello. My name is Wangari, the storyteller. And today, I would like to take you all the way to West Africa, where we get to meet a crafty character called Anansi. Yes, Anansi the spider. Anansi the spider sat on his chair and on the table in front of him was a big plate of yams. Sweet smelling fried yams and right next there was a bowl of delicious stew. And as the aroma rose from the food into his nose, <sighs> Anansi's stomach grumbled in expectation. <laughs> yes, Anansi loved to eat. And he took a piece of yam, dipped it in the stew, and he was just about to put it in his mouth when he had a knock on his door. Anansi was not amused. He was not prepared to share his food with anybody. But he looked around the house and he realized that his window was open. So it would not reflect well on him if he did not open the door because it was clear there was someone in the house, no? So Anansi went to the door, opened it, and from the corner of his eye, he could see his friend the turtle on the ground right outside his door. But Anansi looked from one side to the other side. He looked up and said, hmm, seems like there is nobody here. It must have been the wind. And he was just about to bang the door shut when the turtle spoke. Anansi, I am right here. Oh, Turtle, I'm so sorry I had not seen you. Uh, what are you doing here at this time of the day? Ah, Anansi, I have just come home from a long, long journey. And when I passed here and saw your window open, I thought I could come in and rest for a few minutes before I continue the journey to my house. <laughs> Of course, Tato. Come in, come in. I was just about to have a meal. But even as Anansi pulled another chair next to the table and invited Anansi for the meal and invited the turtle for the meal, he was thinking of a way that he did not have to share his food. And he waited until the turtle was just about to pick a piece of yam. And then he said, Oh, turtle, my friend, your hands, oh, your hands are so, so dirty. Turtle, you know how important it is for us to wash our hands even more in these unexpected times of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I don't have any water in the house. Would you mind going to the river and uh, washing your hands and then coming and sharing my meal? Of course, Anansi, I will go and wash my hands. Immediately, the turtle hit the frame of the door on his way out. Anansi began eating and he ate and he ate and he ate as fast as he could. But soon, the turtle was coming back and Anansi waited until the turtle sat and was just about to pick another yam and said, oh, 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 turtle, your hands are even dirtier than they were before. Look, all that mud. Because of course, you know, the turtle walks on all four. Uh, please, go and wash your hands. Let them clean this time, and then you can come and enjoy my meal with me. Of course. And the turtle 
once again went out to the river and he washed his hands making sure they were spotless and this time when he was walking back to Nancy's house he made sure to only step on where there was grass <laughs> but of course by the time he came back to Nancy's house the yams were over the bowl of stew was empty and the turtle said Anansi thank you so much for welcoming me to enjoy your delicious meal um I would definitely like to return the favor um should you find yourself near my house please come in and I will offer you a meal and the turtle walked away and Anansi, oh, was so happy that his trick had worked. And he waited for a few days to make sure that the turtle forgot about the incident. And the next week, on a Saturday afternoon, Anansi walked towards the river where he knew that the turtle lived. And peeping inside, he could see the turtle quite busy. Aha! And it seemed that the turtle was actually making some food. And Anansi called out, Turtle, my friend, how are you? Oh, Nancy, you're here. You have come for the food. Oh, and your timing is just perfect. Do come in and share a meal with me himself and Nancy dived into the river but of course he was too light and he was swept away by the water and he tried again and again to dive to where the turtle lived but of course he wasn't able to and he wondered oh he was not about to leave a delicious meal and looking around he had an idea he picked stones from around the river and he put them in the pocket of his jacket until he felt that he was heavy enough. And he dived, landing directly in Turtle's house. And the turtle made a big show of offering him a seat and laying the table. And the turtle had prepared sweet smelling rice and a big bowl of beans stew oh, oh 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 rice and beans was a turtle's favorite meal and it so happened that it was a nancy's favorite meal as well and the turtle laid a spoon and a fork next to the meal but just before Anansi picked the spoon and dipped it into the food, the turtle said, oh, Pardon me, my bad. Uh, well, here in turtle country, it is really, really considered rude for us to eat with our jackets on. Uh, can I please... Uh, help you with the jacket and I will put it aside until it is time for you to leave and I can hand it back to you. And before waiting for an answer, the turtle removed Anansi's coat with the stones. And of course, as soon as the jacket was off, spoof! <laughs> Anansi floated right back to the surface. And he could only dip his head in the water and watch in disbelief as the turtle enjoyed his food all on his own. Chakula, chakula, eh, hey, chakula, 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 eh, hey, chakula, baragweni chakula, eh, hey, chakula, chakula, chakula. Hey, Chakula!